All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. We're gonna be doing Maddox, the Ox assortment bag. QR code for you guys, if you guys wanna head over to oxfireworks.com and buy your fireworks. Again, Maddox is a sub-brand to uh, Dominator Fireworks, if you didn't already know that. I mean, we got Dominator in here already, so let's go ahead and do the unbagging. All right, so first step, we're gonna break the bag open. Easy as that. Start unbagging some of these things. Actually, I'll keep it over here. Ox assortment bag. Man, I want to say this was like 30 bucks or something like that. So we'll see the exact price. So here we go. We got another pack of ground blooms that we got in the bucket of fireworks. You gotta have your ground bloom fireworks, of course. You get some snap pops or poppets, whatever you want to call them. Those are the ones that have the white uh, kind of teardrop looking uh, pops that you throw on the ground and they explode. For people not really familiar with fireworks. We got some crackling balls. All these do is crackle, hence crackling balls right here. Maddox really likes the rainbow theme, which I like too. I like color. Okay, we got a 50 strip of Thunderbomb crackers. And I actually grabbed a brick from Maddox of Firecracker, Firecrackers, the 100 strips. I wonder if these are the same. Yep, we got a Saturn missile battery, 25 shots, classic. Whistles in the air with report. Again, this is by Dominator. You get a broken piece of plastic. Love these things, man. You throw them on the ground and they spin. Well, it didn't spin that time, but and actually it was to this uh, <laughs> to this Kaku fountain. And this is not the junior version. This is the regular version. So it's actually pretty big. And this one, as you can see by the notes here, uh, I believe the screech or scream. And uh, let's grab this and put it back together. There you go, good as new. We got a Happy Fireworks. This is, yep, 16 shots. Goes up in the air with a nice, I don't know if you want to call it a waterfall, but basically just shoots up color and it crackles as well. One by one, the pace does not change. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a link up here somewhere. I'm sorry, my hands are kind of dusty and dirty because of all the fireworks I've been handling in these unboxes and all that. So we got another color pearl, and this one's a 48 shot. I, I did grab the 96 shot version of this. So yeah, these are fun. If you just like to, uh, yeah, there we go. Flying high into the air. Yeah, these are fun if you just, you know, want to pass time or scratch the itch. Um, like one of these noiseless so you can do them in your your caring neighborhoods and they put a bag of these in all the assortments on here this one's about the size of that bamboo fountain uh pretty much all the assortments that you get that are you know just regular assortments it could be any assortment but they add fountains like these about the same size and and you know, they vary in different sizes, but we'll see how many of them are uh, similar to another. So you can be like, okay, well, this is the same as uh, bamboo, green bamboo or electric slide, or they just, you know, rename them, rewrap them, different artwork. It's always cool to look at. I mean, all the wraps and stuff. I, I like that part, even if they are the same fountain. I do appreciate the wraps on them. Huge, uh, these are pretty big. Usually these come very small, these Garden and Springs. And this is a classic fountain that also comes in pretty much every assortment there is that's got fountains in it. And this has been around for decades. I'm sorry about that. That is my Pyro Cat. Probably hungry or something like that. So we'll feed her in a minute. Yeah, garden and spring. The other classic. Let me get this out. Oh, wow. 
was stuck to the bag in the bottom. So Desert at Night, another classic uh, fountain hybrid. As you can see, it says shoots flaming balls and reports. So this does go up in the air, um, but I think it just sh shoots up color. So we'll actually do a fountain and then we'll shoot up some color in the sky. Pretty cool. If you guys don't know what that is, these are pretty much identical, these both. Always, you always see this, Garden of Spring and Desert at Night. And actually the Cuckoos are very popular too. So we got Maddox, a number 10 gold, Sparkler Electrics. And just to give you an idea, all the sparklers that we, just with different names and stuff. So these ones are steel. I'm going outside. No, it's too late. I know, but it's too late, buddy. Yeah. So just some regular sparklers. And they're the steel kind. I was surprised they put Roman candles in here. Because I like Roman candles. No matter what they are. Just holding the tube in your hand. They're very, uh, what's it called? Nostalgic. Nostalgic. Having Roman candles. I remember going to the fireworks stand when I was like eight years old or something. And my mom would be like, hey, you want a candy, candy bar? And I'll be like... Now I can have a Roman candle instead or a firework instead. And at the time, these were like a dollar a tube. And I would go to the TNT stands and get one of these Roman candles because they sold by just the tube uh, for one dollar. And I got those instead. So it always brings back memories getting these and just, man, just holding these in your hand and stuff. Pretty cool. You can see the artwork on these. Pretty cool, man, for... You guys who collect and all that. So those ones are Vivid Pearl Candle. We'll demo those out, see how vivid they are. Um, then we got the 10 Ball Magical Roman Candles. And I just picked up an 8 shot of uh, Dominator Magical Roman Candles. Um, they were they were pretty cool. I mean, they shoot out color. That's just what they do, you know? These uh, pearls, they just go some of them go super high up in the air and then they just shoot out some really cool color and it's good to like i said pass the time or just to light something with a fuse let's do a quick pan around and that is it so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next upload. I uh, hope you guys have a good shopping experience, even though the market jumps and all that. And have a good 4th uh, of July.